and welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This is one of a mirror match. Uh, so Polish 1525 versus German States 1543. We don't have an army preview screen. I don't exactly remember what the Germans can bring. I know they can bring some good heavy lancers. I believe they might have access to raiders, although maybe it's too early for that. They have decent light horse actually and they can deploy infantry and pike kales. Um, no idea how to pronounce that, but basically gigantic blocks of 2,000 men uh, with about 60% of them armed with pikes. I don't have access to any sort of infantry of that sort, but the basic Polish infantry of the Drabi is actually quite good. Uh, it's Arquebus, Light Spear 50%, and 50% uh, in impact, just like in Field of Glory, is effectively a 100% impact uh, because it assumes that the men with the melee weapons are deployed at the front of the formation. So these are a good buy. I mean, they're basically mass archivists who can at least survive for one round of impact. For light horse, I'm not sure how badly I want to invest. I'll grab the light guns. For cavalry, what have we got? Demi Lancers, average, well armored, light lancers, swordsmen. So, trash. Hussars slash Cossacks, uh, so these are non light cavalry, unarmored, bow swordsmen. Trash, but at least they're cheap. Um, we also have volley banners, average armored, bow swordsmen. So, trash and lancer banners. So what's interesting is that the earlier list, the lancer banners have heavy lances, which are much better, but also crossbows, which are much worse. So, yeah. I think, although I don't like paying 40 for light horse, it's worth it for these guys with the bows. And I'll grab a couple of well, I'll max out on Light Horse. I think it'll probably be worth it. Uh, now, the Light Lancers are not not very good, but at least they're superior so they can withstand impact. And then the question is, my remaining points, do I want Volley Banners? Armored. You know, armor helps in a melee against horsemen, but it doesn't help against bullets or crossbows. So I think I'd rather just spam out more terrible cavalry. Hmm. Math doesn't really doesn't really help me with that. Okay. Might be a bit risky getting all this shooty horse instead of lancers, but we're just gonna go with it. Deployment. So Awesome 4 was saying in the mirrored match that he had a better map in both matches, but I'm, now that I'm looking at this, I'm not sure that that's true. I think this could be a pretty decent map for the poles. Although, well, these forests are good ground for his lights, which I don't really get in my match as the Germans, but our Drabi can do pretty okay in there. Right. Got a very shooty horse army. Not sure how wise that is. But we'll try something like that and see where it can take us. Unless, hmm. Oh, I should grab one unit of light horse for this flank, just to help scout things out. Next turn.
Okay, I guess our drabby will have their work cut out for them. And we can start trying to push some non-light cavalry around as well. Demo Lancers, late gendarmes. These gendarmes have heavy lances, we have light lances, so they will be at a considerable advantage on impact, although in melee, well, they are heavily armored, so these can kind of tank us, but hopefully we can just try to find a way to outflank them. I kind of wish now that I deployed a second unit Drabi over here. It's probably too late, but we'll see what we can do. Nothing else they can try to give fire against one of these Lanzknecht Kales. No idea how to say that. Don't even really know what it means. I mean, I know what it means in game terms, but what it comes from, rather. I'm afraid that these units are going to get involved too late to influence things, and we might get bowled over right away in the open terrain. Next turn. Continue our idiotic push to the left with this drabby unit. This one is set. We can afford to wait one turn to push these Drabi up. I don't want to take the first volley, and now this cavalry puts his lights in a slightly awkward position. Next turn. Okay, 
let's just, hmm, maybe we can't just charge in there. Let's start with that. Very good. Um, shove them off. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, but that's okay. We'll lose this unit, but hopefully we can get um, help and not lose a whole wing. Hmm. Shove them off as well. Good. Better. Maybe if we're very lucky. Yes. Good. And... <laughs> Perfect. That's fine. Do I bother? No, unfortunately, we do not bother. Alright, we have now a zone of control locked, these pikemen, because uh, they generally ignore enemy zones of control unless that unit is directly in front of them and directly facing them, which we are. And arrows are not really a very good tool for killing infantrymen, but it's what we have. Right, so only one unit of crossbowmen to harass us at range. Otherwise, I think we can afford to wait. Since this is going well, we can soon start using our lights to put pressure on these gendarmes. So they'll have to push forward, and then we can get some more fire on them from our infantry before we risk closing with our lancer banners, who only have light lances, which basically are worthless against the heavy lances of the gendarmes. Next turn. All right, we took the hit, we fall back, no big deal. And that's, yeah. Ouch. And we do not hold. Ah, damn. Give them a shove. Or a frag. That's good too. Push. Do 
I care. Uh, if we turn around, they're just going to show up and shoot at us. If we follow them, they can just run away. I'm going to vote ignoring them for a while at least. Push around. Sure, why not? It's not Field of Glory 2. We don't have to worry about ammunition. Very good. This is not priority charge target. Fall back. Move here and now we can charge. Get in there. Okay, this whole situation. Um, shove them. Do we? Soon. That's fine. Six. Run away. Lock them in. Fire. We are shooting with half bow, so it's not exactly the most terrifyingly effective fire. This is full bow, but with no lances. Although, uh, to be clear, my men have light lances, which is at zero PUA versus heavy lances. The earlier Polish list, the Lancer banners have more armor and heavy lances, uh, but they also have crossbows instead of bows, and that's just worse. Overall, the earlier unit is better. It's also considerably more expensive. Fine, let's tank some fire, no big deal. Heal about. Zone of control lock these lands nets. Um you This center is going to be ugly, so what we need to do is win before any of that matters. Which is possible. I think even if things cave in here, uh, the gendarmes will simply follow us, and the landsnets will be, you know, without support, these units have a really tough time. They can just get shot up or rear charged. So I think this is going well. Next turn. Ouch. This is looking a little bit less rosy all of a sudden.
break them and go for the knights, please. No. Alright. Oh, fine. Shove them off. Okay. Hold for one more turn, please. shove. Good. Charge. No. Charge. No. Damn. Alright, these crossbowmen are going to be a problem then. Shove them towards my other cavalry. Oh, they already evaded, didn't they? Very good. I wonder how long they'll pursue for. I don't generally bother shooting at pursuers, but in this case I'm going to. Okay, still looking mostly good, but this central sector is going to implode shortly. Next turn. Oof. Good. Hold firm again. That's fortunate. Hopefully we run straight back. Good. Still tanking those volleys. Hoping these disrupted gendarmes will break, but they're such good troops that even disrupted they're gonna hold out for at least a while. They could rally up too. Alright, let's see if we can't break these crossbowmen. No, they'll get away then. What a shame. Oh well. Hit their flank. Good. Uh huh. Take the volley. You might move these behind and block them in. That would be too bad. Oh well. Hoping for a frag there. 
Ah, finally, disruption. Keep pouring it in. This is pretty much the only thing you can do to fight these guys if you don't have them yourself. This is foolish, but I just don't really trust them to keep chasing if they don't, if you get some free volleys into their backs while they wheel around. Alright, what the hell is going on? We're pretty much victorious here and just collapsed here. So hopefully we can break these two units soon and find something to do about this unit. Next turn. Oh, goodbye. That's bound to happen eventually. Perfect. I wonder if I break them, I could rush out of range. Kind of risky. Let's see what that does first. Nothing. we go. All right, do we do that? Oh, let's just give it a shot. Okay, I think that should push us uh, over 25 to break him before this unit can counterattack. Right, so looks like the Poles will win in both of these matches.
And our final turn. All right, there we have it. Um, although this looks very confusing, I think the result was pretty straightforward. Um, as suspected in the center, I had trouble with these pike blocks. However, holding the rough ground, I was able to disrupt and break one. On the right, my Drabi with cavalry support on the right were able to flush out his light infantry and we could wrap around. So now we have a situation where Although two-thirds of his heaviest infantry are undefeated, their supporting troops are largely driven from the field, and they're basically in the long run helpless at this point. So I'm glad I didn't lose both matches. Looks like the um, Polish list is overall superior, at least on nice flat maps like this. And I would say that in general, when there's an army with flexible troops and an army with inflexible troops. Uh, these big pike blocks are good for fighting other infantry. They're not so great for a massive cavalry. So a good game to toss them for, as always. We're always keeping a pair of battles going, so I have another one upcoming. Until next time.